Well, hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial and today's tutorial is about these slippers. These are so cute, I love them and they are so pretty and you can do many kind of variations of this kind of slippers. I did them with t-shirt yarn and I did them with, uh, what is this one, ribbon yarn. And this one's actually that I'm doing the tutorial is with ribbon yarn from Hooked and I used a 5.5 mm hook to, do, to make them but actually it was recommended like 10 or 12 I don't um, the size but actually I used this one I I don't know I felt better with this one so I did them in uh, with t-shirt yarn you can see here I did them with t-shirt yarn which the same counting maybe because the t-shirt yarn I used it was a little bit thick so they came out a little bit too big for me because I'm like size 38 to th um, and a half so sometimes it's 38, sometimes it's 39, you never know. But this were, these ones were a little bit big. But that is the same counting as this one. So it depends a lot, I think, from the yarn that you are using. And yeah, so I did them with a t-shirt yarn and I decorated them, them like this. So there are so many variations to, that you can do them. And uh, all this little pom-poms here that are very fashionable right now and I just also you can just do a very simple uh, stitch as I did on top uh, over here which is a herringbone stitch and yeah they still look pretty and you can still do some other decorations decorations on, on top of them so before we start uh, into the tutorial I just wanted to remind you to check my Etsy shop if you are looking for any tapestry crochet patterns or mochila patterns I do a lot of them so you can help uh, you can help my work um, buying them but if you are not interested on them you can also continue following me in uh, my other platforms which are Instagram and Facebook I have the links for those um, other two platforms in the description box uh, down below I'll, um, also you can uh, just find me on the main page of YouTube of my YouTube channel and also I wanted to remind you to like this video give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends so you can help uh, my channel and you can help me and also I would like to invite everybody who is watching this tutorial and is the first time uh, watching at my channel um, looking at my channel what I have here and what I do here and I I'm hoping you are liking it and I'm hoping you are considering to subscribe um, okay so uh, without further ado let's just get into it okay so we will start with um 18 chain stitches first we will do a slip knot and then 18 chain stitches i'm going to use a 5.5 mm hook so let's make a slip knot and then for the size 38 39 uh, my size we're gonna have 18 uh, chain stitches so one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Now we are going on the way back. So we are going to do single crochet, not in the first stitch, but a chain stitch, but in the second one. So we have one. A single crochet and together with this one we will do another um, nine so the, in total there are going to be uh, ten single crochet so one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet if you don't know what a single crochet is I have a tutorial for, for that I will link it up here and let's continue three and then four single crochet and then five single crochet six single crochet seven single crochet eight single crochet nine single crochet and ten single crochet Okay, so let's count one more time if I got it right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 
10 okay and then we're going to have one half double crochet if you don't know what a half double crochet is I have a tutorial beginner tutorial for that I will link it up so let's do one half double crochet and then we're going to do six double crochets now so one double crochet Two double crochet, three double crochet, four double crochet, five double crochet, six double crochet. Okay. So this is the back of the foot and this is the front of the foot you can see where it comes uh, starts to become uh, bigger okay so we did six uh, double crochets now at the last stitch here at the last chain stitch we are going to have five uh, double crochets in one stitch so the last one we will do five double crochets so one Three, four, and five. Okay, so now we did these five increases here and now we're going on the way back. On the way back, we're just going to repeat. Where we have double crochet, we do double crochet. Where we have half double crochet here, I think is here, uh, we do one half double crochet. And where we have single crochet, we just do single crochet. So on the way back, we will do six double crochets. So at the next stitch, we will have double crochet. This one you can hide it or you can just leave it uh, and then we will hide it at the end okay so one double crochet so we have five more to go two double crochet three double crochet four double crochet five double crochet and six double crochet so we did the six ones that we had on the other side as well open it up a little bit with your hands okay and then the next one here we had one the half double crochet so we will do one half double crochet as well in the other side and now we have uh, ten uh, single crochets so we will do ten single crochets so one single crochet i think it's very easy to understand the logic two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet six single crochet seven single crochet eight single crochet nine single crochet and ten single crochet okay and the tenth one we are actually going to to do uh, two uh, one more uh, single crochet in the same stitch okay we need one increase here to do the turn around also where we have this is the stitch that we have for the first single crochet and down here actually we have one stitch one loop we're going to catch this loop right here this one this here okay this is the one that we skipped to do the first single crochet so we're going to catch this one and pull through and pull through so we're just going to do like a slip stitch with uh, with that with that uh, back loop okay so it's going to look like this this is the first round okay now let's start with the second round 
So now we're going to start the second round. So for that we're going to do first three chain stitches. One, two and three. And then to the next uh, stitch we are going to do two double crochet in one stitch. One double crochet and two double crochets. We need some increases here. And then we are going all the way until uh, where we started here the five stitches that we have the five increases here so until the uh, this stitch here before we start the five increases we are just going to do one double crochet on each stitch okay so we are just going to do that so on the next stitches just one double crochet in one stitch just keep doing that until you reach the the five increases that we did at the at the top here at the toes Okay, so here we are. This is where uh, the five increases start. If you see this one, two, three, four, five, these are the five stitches that I did in one stitch. Uh, so from the beginning, calculating these three stitches here, these three chain stitches here, uh, we have one, two, three, 19 double crochet stitches. Huh? I calculated this one as a double crochet as well. Okay, 19. Now for the coming five uh, stitches that we have here, the five increases that we did, we will do two double crochet in one stitch. So when we finish the fifth uh, increase, we will have 10 double crochets on top here, right? So for the next five stitches, we will have two double crochet in one stitch. So first stitch, two double crochet in one stitch, one and two. <clears throat> Second stitch, two double crochet in one stitch, one and two. Third stitch, two double crochet in one stitch, one and two. Fourth stitch, two double crochet in one stitch, one and two. And the fifth stitch, two double crochet in one stitch again. So one double crochet and two double crochets. Okay, so we finished the top at the toes here. So now we're going on the way back. Now uh, from here I'm just gonna work one double crochet in one stitch until I arrive here at the end we did two single crochet in one stitch so before that I will stop and I will tell you how we are going to proceed so until here we are going to do one double crochet in one stitch One double crochet in one stitch for all the next upcoming stitches. Okay, so I arrived here, right here, where I have the two increases with a single crochet. So, until here you will have, so 19 uh, single crochet stitches, we said, 
we arrived here with 19, plus 10, 29, and then uh, we have plus 1, 2, 3, 16. Okay, so we have plus 16, so 29 plus 16, 45. So when once you arrive here, you will have 45 double crochet stitches. Okay, so for the first stitch of the increase here, we will have one double crochet. Then for the second one, we will have two double crochet in one stitch. We will do one increase okay, here. We will have an increase. So one double crochet and two double crochet. So here we will have two double crochets, which corresponds to this other on this side. If you know, if you remember the first one, we did two double crochets here in one stitch. Okay, then you will have one uh, stitch left like this, and then we will just do one, uh, one uh, double crochet there. And we check where we have chain number three, one, two, three, and we will insert the hook at chain number three and pull through and slip stitch. Okay, so like this we have actually finished one foot. Okay, and uh, I would do one chain stitch and then I will cut. Okay, so here is the finished one and I already cut. And we will, we will need two pieces for this. Mm? So this is the finished one. So we will need one for up and one for down. So once you do this, you will repeat that one more time. Okay, so now I am going to put one on, to on top of the other one. Uh, this one it looks a little bit bigger because I have done it um, like yesterday or so. So it had some weight on and it's loose. But this one is just now and so it will take some time but it will open in the same size as this one, don't worry. Okay, so we are going to put them on top of each other and if you see here, uh, now we are going to connect both of them. If you see here, the um, we have to find the right stitch, right? So uh, this is the three chain stitches here, but actually the three chain stitches then are here. So this is the center one, the center one. So this one, uh, the other side, the center one is this one. So this and this are going to get connected together, okay? On top with together like this. You have to find that center stitch because if you uh, connect this one on the wrong stitch then you will have like this or the, this stitch uh, more on the right which is not beautiful. So uh, this is the center stitch and then the next stitch that so which means that this stitch I'm going to connect with the next one over here. Okay so this slip stitch that I did this one you can hide it very easily by just putting it in the middle here so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna work on this side I'm gonna go this way so I'm gonna work like this Next stitch is here, insert the hook on both loops and then get the next stitch of the back part and insert on the both loops, like this. Yarn under, pull through and slip stitch. So we are just going to connect with a slip stitch. So the next, the next one, insert the hook on both loops, find the right stitch on the other side, both loops, pull through and slip stitch so it's going to look like this okay so the next stitch this one I will tuck it under so the next stitch is this one right here and also the next stitch on the other part on the down part and pull through so just work like this all around and you have to connect so you are going to connect um, the two parts
So once you arrive at the last one, from the back to the front, I actually will insert the hook and pull this loop because I want this to be pulled in the back and I want to cut, I will cut here and then I will pull uh, this one too on this side, okay, so I will pull this one here okay it will look like this and this is very easy to hide, huh? you can uh, hide it later on okay, so this is done and now I have seen that um, when some people work this kind of slippers they have some holes here maybe here there is a little ones so they do cover them with kind of like a chain stitch or you can just leave it like that it's perfectly fine but I will do that as well just for an example I did it in my other one so it's gonna look like this so it's pretty yeah it's neat so I'm gonna do that as well I show you as well so I just insert the hook right here where we have this hole and at the other hole in the other side and I will pull through the yarn oops I need to make a loop but I need yarn on the other side as well so I, I have to do a loop like this okay and I'm just gonna work with a slip stitch same uh, logic that I did on the uh, on the uh, side all around okay when I attached Okay, so I have this one loose, so uh, you have to be careful with this one. I will just tangle it, or maybe later on I will just put it in. So I will insert the hook at the uh, next hole that I have, which is this one here. And again, at the next uh, hole in the other side. And I will just uh, yarn under and pull it through to the other side. And I will make a slip knot, you can see here. I will pull a little bit this one so the slip knot is tight and fine. Give it some space here and you see that the loop has to arrive to the next hole, okay? So I'm gonna do next hole, I will insert and then I will pull it on the other side at the next hole and then yarn under and pull through and again pull through it's like a slip stitch right like this and then I will just keep doing the same the next hole insert the hook and again the next hole in the back and then pull through and then slip stitch okay and work like this until here okay once we arrive here we stop Once I did like a, um, because I had the um, loop here from the front, I will do like a chain stitch and I will actually pull uh, this one, one side and then this will tighten up the back as well. And then I'm gonna cut here. Okay. Okay, so we have to hide one, two, three. Okay, all this we have to hide. Okay, so. In this case, we are finished with the down part and we are going to just do the upper part. I did a very simple one and I did a um, herringbone stitch, which is something that it looks pretty, I think, nice. But there are so many variations that you can do with this. Okay, so let me just show you how I did the upper. Okay, so let's start the upper part, which is the herringbone stitch. So for that, first I'm going to start with, for my size, you can actually try on, but uh, for my size, like the upper part, because I tried, I needed um, about 17 stitches to do this, uh, this one. So let's start with a slip knot, and then we're going to do 17 chain stitches. So one, two, three, four. Okay. 17 and then I'm gonna go on the way back. I will insert the hook at the 
not to the first one but at the second one yarn under and pull through and I will do single crochet here at the first one and if you want to check uh, the herringbone stitch I have a, a tutorial a very detailed tutorial which I will link up here but you can also follow me here okay so the next what I'm gonna do is I will insert the hook at the second loop of the uh, first single crochet that we did so we have this one and this one these two loops I will insert here and I will insert at the next uh, chain stitch and then yarn under and pull through and I'm gonna have three loops on the hook and yarn under and pull through these three loops so I'm gonna it's gonna look like this so I'm just gonna work like this now so now I have one two three I have three loops here I will insert at the uh, loop number three so one two three here and the loop here I will insert the hook and then I will insert to the next chain stitch and yarn under and pull through I have three loops on the hook and then yarn under and pull through through three three loops so I'm just gonna work like this until the end okay insert the hook at the first loop and then insert the hook at the next chain stitch that we did and pull through all the three loops in the same time just work this until the end Okay, so here it is. So in total, uh, together with the first single crochet that we did, so one, two, three, seventeen. There are going to be seventeen uh, stitches if you count on top here. Together with the first single crochet that we did. So now we are going on the way back. On the way back, we are going to turn our work like this. So we need this yarn in the front because I am going to insert the hook at the first stitch from the back to the front and then I will pull through and then I'm gonna have two loops here right like this and I will do I will yarn under and pull through so this is the first stitch that we're gonna do okay and then I'm gonna work from the back now if you see I have one two two loops here so I will insert the hook at the first loop here and I will insert the hook at the next uh, stitch from the back to the front like this yarn under and pull through and now I have three loops yarn under and pull through all the three loops so in the way back we are actually working from the back to the front okay so in here I have one two three loops so the first loop insert the hook insert the hook then at the first at the next chain at the next stitch from the back to the front and then the yarn pull through okay and then yarn under and pull through the three loops that you will have on your hook so yeah just work like that until the end Okay, so once you do the last one, and here we have that single crochet stitch that we did, we actually have to do that single crochet stitch as well, because we, if we don't do that, then you will have um, the side is not uh, straight, okay? So I'm going to do the last one as well, and I will insert right here at the um, single crochet that I did, and pull through. And here we are so this is the back 
and this is the front this is the herringbone stitch so uh, then I'm just gonna do one chain stitch turn around and I will just repeat the same process that I did here on this side on the back the same process that I did on the back and I did that I did repeat that one two three because I have three herringbone here maybe you don't see well but this is one set one set two sets three sets okay so you I just did it um, three sets of this and then that was it okay so let's do three sets and I will show you how to attach to the uh, down part okay guys so here is the finished part I did the three sets one two three and it is about 16 cm long and then about 8 cm high okay I didn't cut because I need to use uh, this uh, loop to um, attach on the side so I did not want to cut so how am I going to do I want to show you now because once I start um, attaching uh, then you can you can't see from the inside so what I'm gonna grab are these two loops if you see here this is the eight so I'm gonna grab here I'm gonna grab these two in the side here so one will stay out I'm gonna grab this two and then this two and then these two I mean you understand now what uh, how am I going to work right so this one it's always going to be in the inside I'm not gonna work with this one I'm just working this this two right so I will insert like this I will grab this two okay and so on so let's start I have this and I want to do a smaller loop here First, I will uh, find the place, and for me, it's better here, I think, to start to attach. So I found where is the uh, the fifth one. You see, we did the five increases at the beginning: one, two, three, four, five. So I just went with uh, here. It corresponds two stitches. We did two double crochet in one stitch at the last row so here is the first one so here I start to attach okay so this is the logic that I used because it, it it is good for me like this and I tried it so I will insert the hook I will grab these two loops and then I will I will get this loop pull a little bit and then I will pull it through okay so I'm, I'm just gonna work like this so this loop I will insert to the next two loops Okay, grab the next two loops, the ones that I showed you before. So I'm going to leave one in and I'm going to take the two from the outside. And then uh, I will insert at the next nearest hole that you have because you want to attach all the holes. Okay, I will um, get the yarn from here and pull through and pull through and then slip stitch. So it's going to look like this. So next I will insert where I have the two, the next two loops here, I insert, and then uh, the next hole is here, yarn under, pull through, pull through the two loops and slip stitch. So I'm going to grab the next two loops, these two, okay the next hole is this one here under pull through pull through the two loops and slip stitch so it's going to look like this so you work that for uh, each stitch until you attach all the nearest holes okay holes the, my meaning is that you have the space so I'm going to grab here I'm going to grab here 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 and one time here okay so the next one is this one, pull through and pull through.
so now I have some cleaning up to do so I have to um, clean up this one I have to clean up this one and this one okay for that you can just use your hook if you want to like I'm gonna do here for example like this I want to just is from inside I will just hide it inside okay so I did that like this and then again one more time like this and it's gone so I'm gonna do the same with this other three okay so here it is all cleaned up and ready to wear okay I think they are very very pretty and you can do so many things with them you can see here that I did the other one and they look so pretty I love them you can use them around home or you can use them to get out from the shower and they are so pretty okay so thank you for watching everybody and I hope you are considering to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and I will see you on my next one. Cheers!